rendered useless or abandoned. One of such is the Bielsa Plastic Industry, established to serve as a wealth creator for the state and source of income to the teeming unemployed youths in Bielsa today. That industry today has been privatized and now in a state of total comatose. The man, the interloper, who took over from me by force, refused to touch all the projects. Who is the loser? It's Bayesa people. The present government has not even been able to restore us or even continue the, the works that Silva carried out. The big people, the professor of practical politics. Mr. Inventor Noise! A man who works alone would be enough for us to qualify. The man with the golden eyes. The man with the golden eyes. The man with the golden eyes. The man with the What I named the Mephodokilo Memorial Hospital, it was supposed to be one of the biggest and best hospitals in Nigeria. Today, my problem is that that hospital had been abandoned and all the warranties on the equipment that are still there have expired. We also built the the Tekoki Memorial Hospital, one of the best hospitals around. Unfortunately, it's in a state of disrepair now. Maybe they deliberately left it to, in that state just to make sure that nobody said I did anything good. We decided to start some senatorial schools one in Nembe, one in Sagbama, and one in Yenagua. Each of those senatorial schools was to take 2,500 students, boarding students, so that if we can have three main senatorial schools to take 7,500 senior secondary school students, that would be a good number. We have concluded with Hyundai to run the LBL school so that they can produce world class technicians. As you all know, the major streets of Bayasa are street lights. Today, if you come out at night in Bayasa in Yenagua, you'll find out that the entire Sanya Bachelor is in total darkness. There's a place called Nigeria Law School. There's a campus in Yenagua. What happened when the law school was about to expand? Chief Dimitri Silva set up a special task force to ensure, first of all, that the campus was approved for Yenagua. They successfully ensured that that was done, and they again built what you can find today as a Nigerian law school, single-handedly from scratch to finish. And today we have lawyers again qualified to perform professional produce here in Yenagua. Called by the Bayesian youth any name, but you can't say that they are lazy. Or without energy. At some point, we sent about 200 Bayesa students to India to acquire skills in computer. In the power sector, my hope, my plan was to achieve at the end of 2012 or at the end of 2013, because we were to start counting at the beginning of 2013, I wanted to achieve the first state in Nigeria to have one year uninterrupted power supply. The state in Nigeria. And we are well on the way. We had installed one of the turbines. We had three of those turbines. In fact, a fourth one, because we had three Russian turbines and a fourth Rolls Royce turbine to install. And we felt that if we installed all those turbines, with the gas supply that we are getting from Shell for free, we will be the first state in Nigeria to celebrate a year of uninterrupted power supply. Unfortunately, 
even the turbine that had been installed was left to rot because they didn't want anybody probably to think that I did anything in Bayelsa State. I am more experienced. I've seen it all from all sides. So I believe that I am readier than ever to be a governor of Bayelsa again. Look at the streets of Bayelsa, buried in garbage. It's reflective of the actual state of affairs. We even, in my time, we installed a plant to process garbage, to manure. Even that plant has been left to rot. I hear that it's been vandalized completely. Why do you allow the state to suffer so much because you just want to punish one man? Punish me. Don't punish the people of Bayelsa State. It is true that Chief Timipre Silva was the first man bold enough to take the issue of amnesty to the then late President Yaradua, who saw sense in Silva's approach and efforts in trying to bring peace to the Niger Delta. That singular move was responsible for the sharp increase in oil production in the Niger Delta. Silva is the only governor who fought for the uh, agitators. He brings about amnesty to a Simi Prince who went and negotiates with the federal government to bring about peace in Niger Delta. And we are witnessing peace in this Niger Delta. He came on board at the peak of militancy. And a man that took the bull by the horns to go to the creeks to meet these guys and to settle. A lot of people were afraid. They were going to kill him, but he said, no, I'm a leader and I must act as a leader. Silva make a lot of use to drop the weapon, to submit your gun, to collect 65,000 naira as amnesty salary, which salary BSU holder cannot receive. When I came in as governor in 2007, this place was like the wild, wild west. It, amnesty, I mean the militancy was at its height. But we were able to engineer that process and came up with the amnesty solution, which was sold to the federal government, which succeeded in calming the Niger Delta. That, I think, was my star achievement because it involved the human being. It is true that Chief Timmy Pierre Silva built over 52 internal access roads in Bayelsa during his first outing. For constructed so many roads in this Bayelsa state, like the Adolama Road 1, uh, Winners Road, and then uh, Apis Road, the Green Villa, and then uh, the Ilek Road. So many, I don't even know how to count them. Over 150 roads he had constructed within the few moments that he was in the office. It is true that Silva initiated and built a 500-bed hospital which was eventually converted to 350 bed, designed not only to serve by Yeltsin's, but to serve the medical need of the entire Niger Delta. I'm a Bayesan in Bayesa. I'm a father of two wonderful girls. And those two wonderful girls, as a proud father, I gave birth to those girls at one hospital. I'll tell you the name of the hospital, Tete Koki Memorial Hospital. I was so joyous because I had a very beautiful wife, now, contemporary, we are going to private hospitals to give birth. Uh, we went to a government hospital, the Tekoki Memorial Hospital. All AC off. You understand? Uh, with uh, cable satellites, 247 gensets. That was Silva's great child. But today, go there is a solid side. My father, as a matter of fact, my father died in that hospital. When my father was admitted in that hospital, I was forced to go and buy fan from the market because. The ACs were not functioning. It is true that Chief Timmy Pre inherited the multi billion Naira Tower Hotel from former President Goodluck Jonathan and took it from the second floor where he met it to 18 floors, in spite of the boasting of the former President Goodluck Jonathan that Governor Dixon will complete it. It is true that during the time of Silva, Bayelsa's economy was a lot better than what is obtainable today. The house that I built in my town, it was the town of Timis River. 
and the vehicle I will 